hi guys it's kylie again and today i'm going to show y'all how to make these super cute uh, baby booties actually i've only made one but i thought i'd do a video to show y'all how i make them because the right and left one are going to be made the exact same way so these are newborn in size and they're so tiny and they are super cute and i also made a matching uh hat to go along with them and this will be a separate video tutorial which i will try and link it below in the description for y'all so y'all can find it and as always the written pattern is also going to be on my uh, blog for free if you'd like that uh, i'll put a link in the description for it too and before we get started be sure and click the subscribe button if you are not subscribed to my channel so you will not miss any more crochet tutorials and patterns that i do and we're going to jump right into it and I'm going to show y'all exactly what y'all need to get started. Okay, so for these particular uh, little baby booties, I'm using uh, this Baby Bee Soft and Sleek Baby. Um, I think this is kind of like Yarn Bee's Soft and Sleek from Hobby Lobby. And I absolutely love the Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek. This is just a Baby Bee, so it's just baby colors because it is a number four uh, worsted white yarn. And this is the color Bedtime Giggles. And I think it is so pretty and so cute. Because you can see how it's kind of got like orange, pink, and yellow. And even traces of blue like the hat. You can really see like it's almost got this like mint green and yellow, pink, blue. And um, it's also got orange in it which come out in the little baby booty better. But so yeah, it's a really fun and pretty yarn. And then I am using, let's see, an H or 5 millimeter uh, crochet hook. And so we're just going to jump right into it and get started. Okay, and I might also mention that you might want a stitch marker too. That helps keep track because um, we won't be joining the rounds until you get to the very cuff of it. And then we'll join these couple last rounds. But all the way around here, you won't join rounds. So I would advise a stitch marker because that would be very helpful. Okay, so I have put a slip knot on my hook here. And I'm going to simply for round one, we're going to chain eight stitches three four five six seven eight okay and then i'm on a single crochet here i'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you don't see a little bit better okay and i'm on a single crochet in the second chain for my hook and then i'm on a single crochet in each stitch across until i get to this very last stitch so i'm just gonna work a single crochet in each stitch So, tug it to this very last stitch. And when you get to the last stitch, you're going to place four single crochet in this very last stitch. Two, three, and four. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to turn it like so, and we're going to work into the back loops of these chain stitches that we just done the front loops of them. We're going to turn it and go back down the other side of the chain stitches and work in those loops. So after you've done four single crochet in that last stitch and you turn it, you're going to uh, single crochet in each stitch up the side until you get to the very last stitch. And then we're going to put two single crochet in that last stitch. But we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch up the side. So then once you get to the very last stitch of round one, you're going to place two single crochet into it. Like so. And you're not going to join. You're just going to keep working in the round, or in this case, it looks like the oval. Um, and you will not join. So after round one, you should have 18 stitches. Okay, so for round two... We're going to place two single crochet in the first stitch. And I'm gonna go ahead and place my stitch marker in that first stitch so I know exactly where I'm at. And then we're gonna single crochet into five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then we're going to place two half double crochet in the next four stitches. So I'm going to put two half double crochet this stitch. And I'm going to do that in three more stitches. Okay, there's two stitches. I'm going to do it twice more. 
place two half double crochet and four stitches. Okay. Okay, and then I'm on a single crochet in six stitches. Three, four, five, six. You make the last two stitches. You're going to single crochet, place two single crochet in this next to last stitch. And then you are going to place one single crochet in that very last stitch. And that is round two. After round two, you should have 24 stitches. Okay, so going on to round three, we're going to place two single crochet in the first two stitches. So there's the first one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my stitch marker so I don't lose my space or my spot. And then two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then we're gonna single crochet in seven stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to place two single crochet in two stitches. Like so. Okay. Now we're going to single crochet in one stitch. And then we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. So two single crochet in one, two single crochet in the next. And that's how it looks because this is the toe area there. So, okay. And then we're going to single crochet in nine stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're going to place two single crochet in that last stitch. And that is round three. And after round three, you should have 31 stitches. And now what we're going to do for round four, um, this is the bottom of the sole. So what we're gonna do for round four, take my stitch marker out, is we're gonna single crochet in each stitch around, but we're only going to work into the back loop. So um, if you look at it, typically when you make a single crochet, you go through both loops but for this we are just gonna go through the back loop so instead of going under both we're just gonna go under the back one and i'm gonna work a single crochet in each stitch around going in that back loop only so back loop single crochet in each stitch around and that'll cause it to kind of set up like i'll show you on this one where i went around the back loop only so it kind of causes it to curve up and then form the shoe so you have a difference between the sole the bottom and the side of it. So I'm going to work a single crochet in each stitch around all the way around and I will catch up with y'all after I do that. Okay so this is what it looks like after round four and after round four you should still have 31 stitches essentially didn't increase or decrease you should have the same number of stitches um, but this is what it'll look like after you single crochet the back loop all the way around. So going on to round um, five we're going to start, we're going to single crochet two stitches together and we're going back and working in both loops like a normal stitch now for this round. So we're going to single crochet two stitches together. Okay, and I'm going to place my stitch marker so I do not let, lose my beginning stitch. Okay, then we're going to single crochet in nine stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. After you do that, we're going to half double crochet two stitches together twice. 
So half double crochet, two stitches, twice. So we'll do it once more. Okay. I am going to half double crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm going to half double crochet two stitches together twice again. And you see how it's going to kind of start curling that toe up to close it because we're going to curl it up and close it. Okay, then after you do that, you're going to single crochet in nine stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And those last two stitches, you're going to seal crochet those two stitches together. So this is what it looks like after round five, you should have 25 stitches. Um, going on to round six, we're going to single crochet in nine stitches. Two, I'm going to place my stitch marker in the first stitch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. After you do that, you're going to half double crochet two stitches together twice. So there's once, and we're going to do it once more. We're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to half double crochet two stitches together twice again. Okay, after that, you're going to single crochet in those last seven stitches. So that is the end of round six. That is what it looks like um, so far. Um, at the end of round six, you should have 21 stitches. Going on to round seven, we are going to single crochet in seven stitches. Two, place my stitch marker there. Three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to half double crochet two stitches together twice again. Okay. Now we're going to half double crochet in one stitch. And we're going to half double crochet two stitches together twice again. You see how those half double crochet two stitches together? How they make this pretty almost kind of pattern on the little booty going up as it closes. It makes this really pretty stitched to me. So I'm going to do that once more. Okay. And then you're going to single crochet in your last five stitches. And that's what it looks like after round seven. After round seven, you should have 17 um, stitches. That's what it looks like so far. Okay, so going on to round eight, we're going to single crochet in seven stitches. There's two. I'm going to place my stitch marker back in my first stitch. Three, four, five, six, and seven. 
And then we're gonna half double crochet two stitches together three times. There's three, okay. And then we're gonna single crochet in these last four stitches. three and four you see there how our little opening has gotten smaller so we've got the uh, little opening small enough so now we're going to do the uh, cuff so after row eight you want to go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch which we haven't done that so far but we're going to slip stitch in this first stitch to um, end the round so you're going to slip stitch in the first first stitch and round nine you're going to chain two and we're going to double crochet in each stitch around and you have 14 stitches so we're just going to double crochet each stitch I'm going to do the same stitch and then each stitch around And the little cuff is only two rounds, so it's just this round and one more round. Okay, and after you double crochet on that very last stitch, you want to slip stitch into the top of the first stitch, and you should have 14 stitches. So then what you're going to do for round 10, you're going to chain 2. We're going to double crochet in the first stitch, and then we're going to front post, double crochet in the next stitch. So if you don't know how to do that, what you basically do is you yarn over like a regular double crochet, in this next stitch, instead of working into the top of it, you're going to work around it and go behind it like so. Pull up your yarn and then like a double crochet like normal. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So the next stitch, we're going to work a regular double crochet. And the next one, we're going to do a front post double crochet. Yarn over, go behind it like so. Pull it up a little bit like so and then it gives you that little bit of you see on this one that little bit of like a cuff like a little bit of ribbing on the top just adds a little bit to it so I'm gonna continue that all the way around double crochet in the next stitch front post double crochet on the next post one double front post double around this one Double. Then I'm on front post on this one. You just continue it all the way around. Not very many stitches since there's only 14. So, and then when you get all the way around, after you've done that last front post double crochet, you're going to slip stitch into the top of the very first stitch. And you're going to cut your yarn. And you're just going to you can tie it off and you can um, then weave in that in. And that is how you make a baby booty. You can repeat the same process for the other booty because the right and left are made the exact same way. And aren't they adorable? They are so cute and they make, I love doing little baby booties and hats and blankets and stuff for baby shower gifts. I think they just make the sweetest little gifts. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If y'all did, be sure and subscribe if you haven't already. And check out my blog for more free crochet patterns and tutorials. And happy crocheting, guys.